All right, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Glad you could join me again. So, we got some pretty um, you know, pretty good news out of uh, Gaijin with some BR changes concerning top tier aviation. So, what we really have here is um some positive movement, I think. Um a lot more to go for sure. But a 12.0 BR is a good start here. All right, so understanding that these are still planned, nothing's been implemented yet. All of the F-16s are going to 12.0, which is great. The MiG-29 is also going to 12.0, which is also great. I agree with all those. The F-14, however, is not going up to 12.0. It's only going to 11.7, and I got a problem with that. The aircraft is pretty strong. I think it can handle itself at 12.0. There were some more uh, you know, additional bumps um, from 11.3 to 11.7. I don't really agree with the tornadoes going up, I guess, for ground RB, you know, specifically it's fine, but I think this is where we come into that same problem where some aircraft are really good in ground RB, not so good in air RB. I think we need a, um, you know, two, you know, one for ground, one BR for ground, one BR for air, because this one size fits all approach, I think is kind of flawed. Also, you see some of the F-104s, some of the, the better F-104s went up to 11.0. I mean, they have countermeasures and, and speed. So I agree with that because, you know, all the other jets are being moved up as well. So it, they, they kind of should bump up as well. I think um, we're looking at somewhat of a good spot at top tier for aviation, but it, it needs way more work. So what do I mean by that? So there are so many trouble spots that I have to pick my battles here. So I'm going to focus specifically on the 10.3 to 10.7 BR. So right now, you know, and then it's in context with the 12.0 BR. So right now, those 10.3 to 10.7 is under pretty intense pressure from those top jets. So when you grind these BRs, you're in the shadow of jets like the F-16, the MiG-29, the F-14, which like right now, as of today. So for example, like I'm trying to use my 10.3 French jets to grind out the Mirage 2000D. So jets like the Mirage 3E, the Mirage 3C with no countermeasures, and the Mirage 5F with no countermeasures. So you're going up against jets like the F-14 and the F-4 EJ Kai, which make for some pretty awful matches, right? And of course, even with the 12.0 BR cap now, this doesn't really save jets in this BR range with no countermeasures. We kind of know that, but more on that later. So picking up where I left off, since the F-14 is so meta, going against that jet with some of these 10.3s just feels really unfair. So jumping up to 10.7s now that with the change are gonna have more breathing room. So jets like the J35D and the XS, even all the F-104Gs, the F-104J, um, those jets just got a lot more usable now because they won't have to face MiG-29s anymore. They won't have to face the F-16s anymore, but they're still gonna have to deal with the F-14 bully. That's why I think the F-14 just needs to go up to 12.0. All right, but back to my point about countermeasures, and I know the, the BR increase to 12.0 isn't really design and function to save jets that don't have countermeasures. Some jets, I think they're just going to be SOL, even with the top being moved to 12.0, because they, they just can't compete where they are without countermeasures. So you look at the Mirage 3C, look at the Hunter F6, look at the F4C. I know some of them are 10.0, but that's the point. These tech tree jets are not competitive without countermeasures. I mean, you have jets like premium jets, like the A6, the A10s, the SU-25s, even the A5 that they have to go against. It gets worse though. Try playing a premium jet like the Mirage Milan at 9.7 without countermeasures. I mean, that plane is nothing but a free kill. And even some premium jets without countermeasures like the Yak-38 and the Harrier GR-1, you know, at least to offset that, they have good missiles to make up for it. Alright, so overall, there's still a massive amount of work to do. There are a lot of planes that are over-tiered and under-tiered, especially in the BR brackets that I play, the 9.3 to 10.0 range. It really gets exacerbated though when premium jets with, you know, all the bells and whistles, when they get added, you know, in the 10.0 to 10.7 range, they just jumble everything up. The balance goes out of whack again. It's like a vicious circle like that never ends. So those are my thoughts on the BR changes. I appreciate it, like I said, that we have 12.0, but this is really just the beginning. This is the opening salvo of decompression. 
but it's not enough. But in any kind of game like this, if you're not at top tier already, there's always the chance that you could get up tiered. That's why I mostly play top tier. I don't, I don't like when that happens to me. All right, so finishing this up, I don't like to be a negative doom and gloom kind of person. So I think Gaijin should keep going. I think 12.3 might have been a good cap. I was kind of hoping for that, but you know, for now, at least 12.0 is nice. It's a good limiter for now, a good bump stop for now. At 12.0, you can keep very powerful machines away from the kiddie pool. But like I said, the F14 is still, you know, it's still a repeat offender. It really should be going up to 12.0. I know a lot of people, a lot of Tomcat drivers might not like that, but you know, it's the truth. It is a powerful plane. The only plane in the game with active radar missiles. It has a powerful AUG-9 radar. I, I'm not even worried. Flying the F-14, I'm never worried. I mean, it's just a good jet. It's just too powerful where it's sitting right now. But what do you guys think? What do you think about these BR changes? Um, what do you think should go up or should go down? And um, I'd like to hear your thoughts on that. All right, guys, as always, thanks for checking out the video and I'll see you in the future. Peace.